we're going over everyday natural makeup that literally looks good on every skin tone everyone it's kind of the aim of my entire makeup routine is just wearing makeup that looks good on like on a natural everyday let's get going i really think just like a skin tint with not a lot of highlight looks good on everyone i think with a little bit of glow that looks good on a lot of people but if you are someone who has like skin texture or like big big pores and large pores obviously something like the the elf um, halo glow or hollywood flawless filter and pores and texture look worse so i'm gonna go in with something more like this this is literally i think i've talked about this in every video and i'm almost out but it's the charlotte tilbury light wonder foundation any foundation that is light and natural looks so good and this one doesn't have glitter it has like a bit of coverage and it's a really good match for me and start blending that in quickly this is so hard to do with out my hair pinned back but like I want to be like those aesthetic girls that don't pin their hair back when they do makeup I just I don't know how you guys do it for actual like bronzer and thing I think everyone looks good with bronzer a little bit of contour looks so good I feel like for every day also you can get away with it it's not crazy like if you got to wear it to work or school or whatever just a little bit will help you look so good so I've been using this Fenty cream one it's really nice it's so easy to blend like if you're a beginner really recommend to or just anyone like it's so nice to blend a part of also like makeup that looks good on everyone is taking your bronzer or contour color and using that just reusing your makeup throughout your face so taking this color and then using it as eyeshadow okay so I added a little bit of bronzer um, and filled in my brows a bit concealer I'm gonna use this hourglass one just because it's really full coverage I really I think um, as long as your concealer is just slightly a little bit lighter than the like face makeup I think that's really good for brightening Ooh, I forgot to do blush first and then I think one of the like most universally uh, pretty colors on everyone is NARS um, this one I also have the powder version so it's supposed to like literally that's the whole point of the blush is to look good on every skin tone so that's what we're using today and I'm just gonna put that here and on my nose I normally like to do blush first and then concealer I just forgot today so we'll just start blending that Concealer, I like to use little beauty blender kind of adds this nice gradients from Your blush into your concealer if you do blush first and you can also kind of use it to drag on the side of your nose as well And carve out your contour. So really just using the makeup we have to Carve and give that really nice look. I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna do a little bit of this poor professional makeup setting spray before I go in with powder I'm also going to add some faux freckles. I think faux freckles are just cute on everyone and they're also trendy. Ooh, they're also trendy right now. So I have a little bit of natural freckles, but they go away when I put on foundation. So I just basically draw them back on with a little bit of this freckle pin. All right, so we have our face sprayed and like as soon as it's not wet pretty much, I go in with my setting powder. I would recommend for like everyone a translucent powder. I have this Givenchy one though because I'm out of my translucent one. This is an example of something that doesn't look good on everyone because it has a pink undertone. So make sure you get one that like matches your skin. I actually, I don't think I should have gotten the pink undertone setting powder. I should have gotten a more like peachy one because I don't have cool toned skin I have like peachy warm skin so that's something to think about yeah I'm just patting this in you don't necessarily need to bake but just something about the brightening like it doesn't matter who you are you add that brightening and it looks so good like I don't the fade into the tan that we have or the bronzer like I just think it's such a beautiful look Before we go in with actual powder products I like to get rid of the stickiness on my face. Just go straight in with powder bronzer and all of that. It's going to look 
really, really um, streaky and patchy because it's gonna cling to those patches. So what I do is I take this Hourglass palette and I just take the finishing powder, this um, like sh shiny one. I like it because it gives you a glow, but at the same time, like can mattify the, your face, but also the radiance it gives you doesn't highlight texture or anything. So this is really nice. I do want to use a different bronzer today. I want to use this Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the airbrush bronzer. Really just whatever bronzer works for you, but um, this one I think is so pretty. It's really pigmented. So again, I just think bronzer, especially in the summer, looks good on everyone. Like everyone can pull off a little bit of bronzer. So I just add some of that and it's really pigmented so i'm just careful with it so again i feel like we have like a good base going right like nothing crazy but at the same time it just looks really beautiful and effortless like i said the nars orgasm blush i don't want to get in trouble for that is really a good universal color another one that i think is pretty universal is mac peaches again either one of these i feel like is pretty good for like most skin tones so I don't know which one I should go into. I think I might do just a little bit of both for fun. So I'm gonna go in with those. Here's MAC Peaches. I mean, look at her. I just think it's the most beautiful color. If I could only, whoops, if I could only wear one blush color for the rest of my life, 1000% it's MAC Peaches. Can't go wrong. If I'm like not in a mood to experiment, I just wanna use whatever, MAC Peaches is my girl. I'm gonna do a little bit of the NARS one just for fun because it has some shimmer in it and it, and it adds some kind of like the peach shimmer with the corally. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I've done that. I like to go in with a little bit of a powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed. I also like the one size um, powder foundation in the lightest shade. And I basically go in and just do a little bit more powder in areas I want to smooth out, um, texture, or um, brighten. So that's that. You want to do highlights. Um, I love this Victoria Beckham cream highlighter universally. It's like the pearl one. I think this is like universally a great highlight for literally anyone. Like, let me show you just how pretty that is. You can change up your look with your eyes like your base can for the most part be pretty consistent but your eyes make a huge difference so you can do like a sultry look you can add a lot of definition with eyeliner um, for like a natural look I really like to take just whatever like brown I like brown just to think it looks more natural and going in and tight lining kind of like lifting up my eyelid and inside the gaps filling in with the eyeliner um, kind of hard to show you. I have some shorts on it, but I just kind of fill in. Basically doing like a little tight line and it makes a very slight difference, but it looks really nice. Okay, and then I just do a literal micro wing because um, not necessarily for the purpose of a wing, but more to simulate the look of an eyelash kind of drawing my eye up and out to give a little bit of like a lift. Like it's almost not even a wing. I'm basically drawing a fake eyelash. I think it's like a nice little hack and looks really good. Yeah, it should be almost barely noticeable. At least that's how I like to do it. Finishing off with lip liner, I really just think any neutral, taupey, pinky brown nude color is gonna look good on everyone. I'm gonna take these two. So this is the Kylie Kylie lip liner and then this is the NYX natural one this the NYX natural I think looks good on everyone it's such a it's like your lips but better color but if you want to add some more definition and kind of outline your lips and make them look a little bit bigger this one's good because it's darker but in the same kind of color family so it, it looks like it has a good blend when you apply them together that and then the inside I'll fill in with NYX Natural. And this one's also really similar to Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury if you have that as well. Last and final step is lashes. I like, again, my new obsession right now is just tubing mascara. So I'm using this Hourglass one. I have a ton of mascara faves just using this one at the moment. This one's just easy to remove and I don't like taking a lot of time <laughs> removing my makeup. So... I go in and I just start at the tips and kind of do a light little coat to lengthen and I don't bring it into my root of my lashes yet 
because that will add too much thickness. And I make sure to already start kind of flicking my lashes up and out to give a lift to my eye. And then once I'm done with the tips, I'll go in from the back side and lift and then coat the front from the roots through the tip one last time. And that's really just my hack, my way of doing mascara, I think looks at least the best for me and my eye shape and all that. Yeah, and that really was not even that much mascara and I think it looks really good. Okay, and that is the makeup. That's the final look. Hopefully you guys like it and that was helpful for some of you. Um, I, would, I love makeup, I love making tutorials, I love beauty, everything, leveling up, living our best lives. Any video suggestions, please let me know. I'm kind of just filming whatever comes to my mind, but I, I really do want to provide value to people who watch me. So if you have ideas, please let me know. I will add them to my list and start making those. Hopefully this helped you out and if you liked it, subscribe. I'm excited to talk to you all and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.